hello and welcome back today i'm here to answer some frequently asked questions maybe some that i've been avoiding and just give you a little life update while we chat so get your coffee your snacks whatever you're in the mood for and let's catch up look at how cuteness this cup is it's giving spooky season i can't remember the last time i sat down and like got ready with you guys and did a life update i feel like it was when i was pregnant and i was probably giving you like a pregnancy update and now i'm not pregnant i'm a mom of two i chopped my hair like what is going on girl am i having an identity crisis let's get started um i asked you guys on instagram and apparently there's a lot of things you guys want me to talk about so let's get started i always start with some kind of spray whether it's a setting a prep whatever kind of spray i just sprayed on my face because i do feel like my foundation is too matte so in order for me to be able to blend it out really well i do like to be a little bit dewy in the face so we always start off with foundation it's my tried and true maybelline superstay active wear foundation in the color 120 classic ivory and let's get started this first one says do you co-sleep how do you transition one-year-old to their own bedroom or bed after co-sleeping since they were a baby so i do co-sleep with my babies but franco has been sleeping in his room since before belen was born how we did that though was fairly easy just because we had jonathan go and sleep with him i feel like a lot of people were taken aback because they're like how could you not sleep with your husband and how could you give that up at the end of the day they're little for so long and you can still cuddle with your husband and you don't have to sleep with him in a sense so to go into a little bit of detail with that we always put the babies down at 9 p.m. Franco is usually always asleep and in bed by like 9 45 10 the latest so between 10 and like 1 a.m. Jonathan and I get time to hang out and cuddle and talk and you know and then when the clock strikes one which is usually the latest Jonathan ever goes to sleep he just goes in Franco's room and goes to sleep because at that point we already had a couple hours to ourselves to do whatever we needed to do you know i feel like when you think about it it does seem a little bit like what the heck you're sleeping in separate bedrooms from your husband doesn't that cause like distance between you like how do you know this and that but at the end of the day you know your husband and if you're gonna make it work so your child can slowly start sleeping in their own room then it's only literally going to be for such a short amount of time because our babies are only babies for so little you know so that has never been an issue that was something that we right away talked about and made sure we were both comfortable with and now it hasn't even been a year since jonathan started sleeping with him and he's already coming around to being by himself so now jonathan falls asleep in our bedroom and sometimes he'll wake up at around 3 to 4 a.m because he feels alone and he will come into the bedroom and jonathan will just wake up and transition to his room so just being like completely honest here it has not affected us at all whatsoever and if anything it's just created way more security in franco and his sleep routine he loves his room we tried when belen came home to all go sleep in the same bed and franco absolutely hated it he would literally tell us like no i want to go to my room where my tigers are so i have a few questions asking how different it is postpartum with belen and then how different was with franco all i'm gonna say about that is that truly have no expectations for your pregnancies at all whatsoever they're all different every pregnancy is different every labor and delivery is different every postpartum is different every baby is different you cannot have the same experience twice no matter how hard you try so if there's any advice i can give you it would be to just have no expectations and take it as it comes live one day at a time and you will get through it i promise you we are six months out and i'm already starting to feel like myself again thank god <laughs> okay this one says please be honest are you regretting your short hair because i want to cut mine so bad being completely honest here i do not regret cutting my hair short trust me when i was sitting in that chair i was hyperventilating almost i was like no i shouldn't do this i've always hated short hair i was having all of the thoughts and at the end of the day i realized that it was something that i could just not stop thinking about and just like any other lesson in my life i decided to just do it and learn from it so i was like if by any chance i end up absolutely hating my hair and regretting it so bad at least i'll know that i will never ever cut my hair short again so i went in with that mindset i went in with the mindset of it's probably not gonna look great on me it's probably not gonna look as good as 
as it looks on these other girls i went in with no expectations and came out absolutely loving it i truly just feel like it makes me feel something and i'm so glad that i did it because had i not done it then i would be thinking about it to this day and being like what if i had just cut my hair at least it's hair and it grows back eventually are you supplementing with formula i am not supplementing with formula i am exclusively breastfeeding and as draining and as time consuming and hard work as it goes into exclusively breastfeeding i am so so lucky that i get to do it and that i get to nurse my babies for as long as i possibly can okay this one reads we know the kids and jonathan are doing great but how are you and how is your mental health <laughs> thank you for asking queen i feel like my mental health within itself is pretty okay i wouldn't say that i'm struggling and i wouldn't say that in any postpartum i've struggled a lot mentally but something that i do believe that many many women struggle with when they become moms is just mom guilt and i know it sounds so cliche and oh we always hear that and mom guilt is always this or it's always talked about you sound like a broken record it's just true like i remember noticing it a couple months ago when i was just not wanting to do anything for myself i didn't want to go to my workout classes i didn't want to go to the stores by myself i didn't want to go get my nails done i didn't want to go get my hair done because i was just so against leaving the kids by themselves i just felt like i was doing them a disservice and i was being so selfish by wanting to take any time for myself to do what i really wanted i remember one of the first times i noticed it was when i was gonna go to watch a movie with my comadre noemi and their day rolls around and i know frank is about to go down for his nap i know belen is down, about to go down for her nap and i wanted to cancel because i was like i just can't do this and i'm being such a bad mom and that is when i realized like wait why are you having these thoughts your babies are literally perfectly fine they love their dad they love their grandma so why do you have these feelings of not wanting to leave them if you need this time for yourself and you need a time with your girl and that is just when everything came crashing down on me and i realized that i was not pouring into my cup at all and at that point i realized i was doing a disservice to myself and to my kids because with me not taking time for myself at the end of the day i was completely drained out of all of my energy all of my body battery i felt tired and like nothing was making me happy at that time and i did try to paint it in a light where well at least my kids are getting me 100 percent. but at the end of the day i was like your kids need a happy mom and that is when i decided that i just needed to talk to someone and really talk through the reasons why i couldn't get that feeling out of my mind and this is when i want to remind you guys that therapy is a safe space where you can share what's on your mind whether it's stress sadness worries relationship issues that you can share it with no judgment Judgment. your therapist is there to listen to ask you questions and just help you see things from a new perspective they can provide insights and teach techniques to manage your emotions reduce stress and to make positive changes in your life and trust me i know that therapy can be costly that is why there are affordable options available like online therapy platforms so that is why BetterHelp is the sponsor of this video and they are on a mission to make starting therapy easier BetterHelp is a platform where therapists and their clients can communicate effectively and get the most out of therapy and better help makes starting therapy so easy all you do is fill out a questionnaire and you will get matched with a therapist in as little as a couple of days one of the best features about better help is that if you don't connect with the first therapist you can easily make a switch to another one until you find one that you really connect with they very carefully make sure that the therapists on the platform are well qualified and their customer support team is there to answer any questions you might have so if you're struggling and you think that you can benefit from a therapy session click the link in my description box or you can go to betterhelp.com slash blanca j to get 10 percent off your first month of therapy <laughs> this one's so funny because i feel like if you're a new viewer you wouldn't know but this one says what do you use to have your teeth so white i use whitening strips just kidding they are veneers i got veneers when franco was born i got them like when i was four months postpartum so yeah i got veneers in california with dr sean the best doctor out there i have a lot of friends that have veneers and they always ask me who my doctor was and yeah it was dr sean cutley i have his instagram here in case you want to go give him a follow but his work is amazing and i'll forever love my teeth and no i do not regret getting them at all whatsoever okay this one says how is weight loss going i'm getting married in december so i need all the motivation first of all congratulations that is so exciting second of all i feel like this time around i've been so obsessed with looking and feeling better so my weight loss has been a priority for me i know it's not always healthy to be like super obsessed with the number on the scale but for me it's really nice to compare and it does give me motivation but with that being said i also don't let the number on the scale define me or control my emotions at all whatsoever 
whatsoever so since i am still nursing i do have to eat good and make sure i'm staying hydrated so my weight loss has been like a little bit slower than most people's would be because i can't just go into like a really low calorie deficit and start cutting like that so i've just slowly been making changes to the way i eat i did have to be a little bit strict on myself with that because i used to eat a lot of sweets and like a lot of bread and cookies and milk and cereal at night so i had to be really strict with myself in that sense because i know i cannot control it at all if i'm gonna have a cookie i will not rest until the whole package is empty so i had to be really strict and now thankfully since i started being really strict i can have three cookies and a little cup of milk and feel satisfied and basically all i'm doing is focusing on my protein intake and really looking at my sugar intake so that i know i'm not consuming too much sugar this one says do you plan on getting a mommy makeover regardless you look amazing thank you queen surgery has never been out of my options like i've always thought if i start getting to a place where i'm just not happy with how i look and i'm not getting the results i want by going to the gym and like eating good eating better then i am a thousand percent gonna go get my body done but i feel like ever since i had berlin obviously surgery really really scares me so something that i have always always said is i'm going to try my absolute hardest and this is going to be a year after i stopped nursing because that's when i'll actually be able to go really hard at the gym and like with my eating so i'm gonna try that a year after i stop nursing and if i just can't seem to get the results i want i'll most likely be documenting a little mommy makeover a bbl lipo whatever the heck i decided to get but you guys will be the first to know this one says how do you feel about being a resident of the united states <sighs> it feels like truly a weight off my shoulders and it also feels really rewarding just thinking about the process and like everything it took to become a resident of the united states or and not only that also to hold a vaca for years it just feels really rewarding i just feel so thankful and blessed that i'm able to go visit mexico and it's truly just such a special feeling this one reads is intimacy life harder with two kids now i wouldn't say that it's harder i would just say that you have to be a lot more mindful about it and just find like your sweet time to do it because you obviously can't do it during the day you can't do it in the morning because the kids wake up super early so so that's why i feel like when moms talk about having a routine and having your kids on a set sleeping schedule isn't just only for them and for their well-being and for them to be happy toddlers or babies it's truly for yourself too because if your babies go to sleep at 8 p.m and you don't go to sleep till 11 p.m you have all that time to do whatever the heck you want watch a movie or a show or have intimacy with your your husband or cuddle or order takeout you know so i feel like that is one of the biggest reasons that parents put their kids on a strict schedule as well and that is what has worked for us too like we know exactly when we have time to do what we want to do this one reads are you struggling with postpartum hair loss it's been tough for me to feel like myself i am struggling with postpartum hair loss i have like kind of a big bald spot in the back of my head and then i have a lot of hair loss here on my hairline um honestly although sometimes i do catch myself getting a little bit sad about it i try not to think about it a lot because it's totally completely normal and it will pass so i try not to overthink it because it happens to most postpartum women so i'm not alone and it will grow back thankfully it's hair and it does grow back although sometimes i do get a little bit sad but I try not to dwell on it too much. I feel like I sound like a broken record with my go-to lip combo, but it is the Lester Makeup and Beauty Creations Volume 2 Lip Liner. It's like the perfect nude for my lip color because my lips are like really pink. And then I top it off with the Rare Beauty Lipstick in Creative. And sometimes to add a little bit extra, I do add gloss on top, and I feel like that makes it look a lot more elegant but i don't think i'm gonna add gloss today and that is my lip combo and i am basically done with my makeup this is how i do my makeup every single day and it's just routine for me now but i'll ask, i'll answer a few more questions do you drink caffeine while breastfeeding of course i do and i drink it while pregnant as well i do try to stay under 200 milligrams while i'm pregnant but while i'm breastfeeding i do drink about two cups a day this one says how do you get franco to sit down and focus on his learning activities when you're teaching a toddler especially through play you have to sit there and do it with them your kids will mirror exactly what you do so whatever you want them to do or not to do you have to be the prime example so anytime i'm sitting playing with him and teaching him and having him learn i am sitting there and doing it with him he has my undivided attention i go into his world and i play whatever he wants to play with his imagination and i teach him colors the alphabet numbers all of that within our play i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up 
with this one it just says will franco be starting preschool first as far as my plans go right now i do plan on homeschooling my babies for as long as i can and i'm so excited to live out my teacher dreams i did want to be a teacher when i was little so i will be fulfilling that dream and homeschooling my children but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed my video and i hope you enjoyed chatting with me and getting ready with me i love you so much i appreciate you so so much and i will see you in my next video but until then please always remember god goes glowing and growing ¿Quieres pasar? ¿Qué quieres? ¿Jugar con Belén? Sí.